Welcome back, my friends. Harmony has been a fundamental characteristic of Western music since the Renaissance. Today we'll explore harmony and how it's used to create music. Let's begin by looking at the basic characteristics of harmony. The basic unit of harmony is called the chord, three or more notes sounding together or in sequence. Chords serve as a harmonic backdrop for melody. They support melody, but also form an integral part of musical structure, style, and expression. Chords are built on the tones of the musical scale. Listen to the scale we studied in a prior video. When a chord is formed on a scale tone, this foundational tone is called the chord root. The name of the chord root is used to name the chord. The first chord above uses C as the root and is thus called a C chord. A lowercase m may be found on some chords. For example, DM is the abbreviation for D minor chord. The abbreviation DIM means diminished, thus, B dim indicates a B diminished chord. Chords are often referred to by scale degree numbers written in Roman numerals. For example, Roman numeral 1 is the chord built on the first note of the scale, also called the tonic, and Roman numeral 5 is the chord built on the fifth note of the scale, also known as the dominant. Roman numerals are mainly used for harmonic analysis that is, to show harmonic relationships. For example, one may say the 1-4-5 chord sequence is typical of a certain musical style. That is, the use of chords built on the first, fourth, and fifth notes of the scale. In popular styles, chords are often indicated with chord symbols. In other words, the letter name of the chord. In such cases, Chord voicings and rhythm are left up to the individual performers. Chords may also be indicated with grids known as chord diagrams, pictures of where to place fingers for a chord on a ukulele or guitar. When a melody is written with chord symbols above the staff, it is called a lead sheet. The sounding of chord tones one note at a time is called an arpeggio also known as a broken chord. Arpeggiated chords are a common accompaniment for melodies. In the song Green Sleeves, I play arpeggiated chords while Grace plays the melody. The process of connecting and organizing chords is known as harmony. When two or more chords are used in a sequence, it is called a chord progression. Next, we examine how harmony works with melody. Begin by listening to the melody of Father I Adore You. The melody of Father I Adore You sounds simple by itself. 
I'll add harmony to illustrate how chords complement and support the melody. This four chord progression, G, C, D7, and G, will provide a harmonic foundation or backdrop for the melody. The final step is to put melody and harmony together. This process of combining melody and chords is called harmonization. Finally, listen to the harmonized version of Father I Adore You. I hope I've enhanced your understanding of harmony. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.